cause a general election. The members are in an appalling position. In my opinion, the decision to enter government in 2007 was a major tactical and strategic error. The party had two choices at that point. Indeed, you could say it was facing a fork in the road. Go into government in a minority position, make up the numbers and act as a prop for a socially conservative centre-right government. Or choose a more medium-term view by not going into government at that point, and instead take time to broaden and further deepen the party's electoral strength. More councillors, more TDs, and then possibly at the next election, forms a government with a stronger social justice agenda and a stronger green agenda. And you need numbers, you need strength to do that. And you need to be not afraid to pull out of negotiations, really. No stage manage walking in and out. You have to tell the party you're negotiating, this or else. A further strategic error was made way before the 2002 general election, I believe, when the party decided to position itself, position itself as a party ready for government. This was a strategic plan, fair enough. The error here was the party's failure to actively engage and attract politically experienced and astute left-wing intellectuals and develop a stronger social and economic policy identity and base. If the Green Party ceases to be politically relevant, it will cease to exist. And the lessons learned from the Irish Greens' experience in government is that to be narrowly confined to deliver, delivering only environmental policies while supporting poor social and economic policies will bring out a loss of identity, relevance and a never dwindling voter support as a consequence. Indeed, the wipeout in the local elections last June shows that this has already happened in Ireland and that if Green voters also are given a credible, viable alternative candidate to vote for, they will abandon the Irish Green Party. The votes received by former MEP Patricia McKenna, who stood as an independent, Councillor Chris O'Leary, who stood in, as an independent, um, a left socialist left candidate, Richard Boyd Barrett, and myself proved that point. Two of them got elected on Green voters just switching over to them immediately. And the, the other, Patricia and I, pulled ahead of the other Green voters because we were known and we had a strong platform that Green voters related to. The Irish Greens, I think, as I said, now faces electoral wipeout at the next general election. And the most likely beneficiaries will be left wing and Green left candidates. And finally, and I actually say this very sadly and not in any way gleefully, I believe that all has been gained, in my opinion, by the Greens' involvement in government in Ireland. It's personal achievement in that Green TDs have had the opportunity to become government ministers. That is the actual only tangible benefit that I have found. Now, fair enough if that was the party's strategic goal to achieve some Green ministers. But it wasn't. And I ask, is that really what a political party should be all about? Thank you very much. Thank you.